to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly general message for October 19th through October the 25th. And of course, we are starting with the Love Bird bonus for those of you who are in a beautiful, beautiful romantic bond. Angels and guides, positive energy, please. Positive energy for, let's keep shuffling, for Leo. Uh, you know what? We're going to, we're definitely going to take those two. Take those two. <laughs> angels and guys, pause. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. That was with the quickness. So, lovebirds, we have worthiness and divine feminine and wishing well. To make some wish magic, cast the spell, throw pennies into the wishing well. So, Yes, yeah, you're looking at yourself in your relationship and you're saying, you know what, I, you better honor me, <laughs> you better act like I'm important, yeah, this week, I don't, because you know what, you are the bomb, whether you are a guy or a girl, you are the bomb, and it's like, they better recognize, <laughs> right, so with the wishing well, I feel like you are wanting them to, um, see, see how gorgeous or how handsome you really, really are, or how awesome you really, really are. Now, let's look into singles, angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy for, you know what, I feel like we gotta keep shuffling here. I'm just gonna follow my intuition. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we're looking for positive energy for singles. Leo, positive energy, thank you, thank you, thank you, whoa, whoa. There's three cards here. What's going on? What is going on? We have hmm, commitment, dating, and the gardener. You know, we're still going to throw in. We're still going to throw in one from the Hummingbirds deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. What is going on here? Sunrise. Every sunshine sings a song. Don't worry. Be happy. Just sing along. So there's some energy. There's some love energy around you. You are committed to dating. You are ready to step in there and get dirty. And yeah, and yeah you're ready to go into that dating scene again with the sunrise I feel like I feel like you're ready I just feel like I feel like you're like oh, I'm ready to do this <laughs> I'm ready to do this all right so let's get right into the general message for Leo's four seven little days angels and guys positive energy positive energy for Leo angels this is a new deck it's a gorgeous deck I love this deck. I know it's the Rider deck, but these are, yeah, these are plastic, I guess, and they are, they just, they just flow. <laughs> they just flow. I just love them. Angels and guys, angels and guys, positive energy, positive energy. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. I feel like, you know what, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with it because I, for some reason, my intuition is just like, just go, yeah. Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. All right, so angels are saying, yes, go with your intuition. Angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy for Leo. What is going on for Leo? And thank you, thank you. Ah, and thank you. All right, so moving on to the, I feel like, oh, you know what? No, I feel like, I feel like we need to move on to the, Ask your angels deck. Yeah, ask your angels deck for Leo. Angels, what is going on? What's going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you for Leo the Lion for October 19th through October the 25th. Come on, angels. What's going on? What are the messages? What are the messages? Thank you, thank you, thank you for. Come on, there we go, for Leo. Now, now we're ready to top it off with the Hummingbird deck. Yes, yes, yes. Angels, what's going on? What is going on? What are the messages? What are the messages for Leo the Lion? All right, so let's tidy up and we'll get right into, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What needs to be delivered? <laughs> All right, so major thing for the week is, ha, huh, yes, the five of wands and the six of spades, the ace of clubs, the 
healing card, eight of spades, and the king of clubs. So eight, that's eight, nice. <laughs> All right, that was for me. All right, so I feel like, yes, there is an argument this week. It might be with more than just one person. With the six of spades, it's like this was inevitable. To, this was going to happen. You know it. They knew it. This was going to happen. I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough from this argument. There's going to be healing. This is going to be a powerful situation. And I definitely am picking up with the King of Clubs that once it's all done and, and, and finished, you're feeling like, yes, that had to happen when that happened. It was like it was meant to happen. It was definitely meant to happen. Okay, because there was like afterwards there was like this clearing of the air. There was like this, you know, when we were little kids and we got a spanking and we cried and cried. You know, back when we got a spanking, I'm telling my age, okay. And then all of a sudden, after after you got the spanking, you go to your bed and you're like, and you can't sleep, right? And it's like. You felt good, it was over. You felt so good, it was over. And you knew that you were never going to do that again. Okay. All right. So let's move on, shall we? Now, in the recent past, you had... Um Leo, you were trying to make up your mind. You were trying to make up your mind about letting go or giving love. With the Nine of Diamonds, I feel like you had a lot to give. You definitely had a lot to give. You didn't know whether you were going to hang in there or let go. With the Divine Mystery mystery you felt like you just didn't know what you were going to do but yet and still I feel like you did make up your mind and you held on with the four of diamonds now that was in the recent past now in the middle of the week we have the sun card how beautiful is that with the king of hearts the ten of diamonds the alchemy card six of clubs and the queen of spades so in the middle of the week yes things are going your way all right this is you this is definitely you things are going your way you are on top of the world you are in charge people are listening to you because you know it all. Yes, you do, because you know it. Because abundance is around you. A ton of abundance is around you. Oh yeah, with the alchemy card, by the way, you did create this, you definitely did manifest this. With the six of clubs, you knew that this was a part of your purpose to learn how to create abundance. With the queen of spades, it took a ton of work but you did it, so pat yourself on the back, all right? Now, when we look at the end of the week, Leo, we have the five, is that the five? The five of the swords with the six of clubs and the four of clubs with the joy card and the seven of spades with the six of spades. So by the end of the week, I see someone walking out of your circle. Someone is definitely leaving your tribe, okay? You feel like it is time. It is definitely time for them to leave. Like it's, you know what? This is kind of meant to be, right? It's kind of meant to be. You're pretty confident that yeah they need to they need to leave right you're actually happy they're going you know what with the seven of spades you're like you know what i wasn't pushing i wasn't pushing but you know what i'm happy i'm happy they're gone with the six of spades you're feeling like that was some good karma right you're like that was some good karma or that was you felt like it was about time. <laughs> yeah, it was about time they left. All right, now, when we look at your bonus, you have the knight. The knight, the knight of cups. Yes, yes, yes. With the seven of pentacles and the four of wands. With the seven of hearts, the nine of clubs, the surrender card, the four of spades, and the ace of diamonds. So I feel like... I feel like what the your bonus is telling me that there is a, there is love coming in your direction. This might even be you. I, this might even be you. This love that's coming in your world, or this love that is in your world, it's pretty it's pretty stable. You've definitely worked for this love. I feel like your your house, your home, things are working out. Like you put in this work, and now you are reaping the rewards. With the seven of hearts, you you definitely you definitely. There's a bit of a, you know things are working out great, but you're wondering, 
are you going to get hurt again? That's what I feel like. Are you going to get hurt again? But I feel like surrender. I feel like surrender because with the four of spades, things are going to be okay. It's not always going to be rosy and, and, and you know, unicorns and cotton candy. It's not always going to be that way, but there is a new beginning for you. So I feel like just surrender, if you will. Let things be the way they are. I feel like this argument, this argument that's going to happen, it's going to heal the situation. I feel like someone is definitely going to leave. In the middle of the week, expect abundance, expect happiness, expect joy. You've worked for this, okay? So enjoy it. Sometimes when things don't seem to go our way for such a long time, when it does go our way, we're wondering, is it going to continue to go that way? And we're constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop? No, 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 no. Don't, don't do that. Allow, open up the door and just let joy in, okay? Because you've worked for this. You earn this, okay? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.